Hello. I got a question from a viewer regarding green extension and retruncation, and I want to explain how they work in Viswap. So when you have a fixed signal plan, let's say like this one, as an example, where each phase, each signal group has their own um, 20 second green time, and you want green extension, uh, you need to basically think that you want that green extension, um, but you also, you don't want to keep that 20 second green time as a minimum, because if there is no demand on it, why would you run it for 20 second? Um, so what you would do is you set up like a minimum uh, green time um, that is required for like a, a vehicle or two vehicles to pass. But then you can start thinking, do I need to keep that green or not? <laughs> so when you say green extension, you probably, you probably don't want to have like a 20 second and then you can extend it up to 31 and push these. But let's assume you want that. So let's assume you your situation um, need to have like a minimum of like say 20 second, may, because maybe that intersection is uh, linked with some other one and you need to keep the link between the two or, or whatever, for whatever reasons. Um, or you have like pedestrian phase or, or whatever that you want to work control. So you have like a longer one. The easiest way to deal with that is basically consider that as a minimum a minimum green time. So when I have my interstages here and I have a six second minimum intergreen, 12 second the length, so six second is the intergreen plus the minimum green is six, so six plus six is 12. That's why my interstage is that long. And if you remember in my VisWeb, I don't check for uh, minimum green time because I include them in the interstages here. <laughs> so what happens is when I have this stage active one, what that does is it is a condition. It makes sure that or it ensures or it checks if stage one is active, then it is true. And stage one, my stages are set out here in the poor file. And it checks, so this stage checks in Vizim if the lights, if the lights represent this setup. So when A is uh, green, B, C, D, E are red. If that is the case currently, then this is true, so it comes in here. So the way it works is Vizim runs, Viswap is checking the live simulation, how the signals are set up and what they are doing at the moment. And then they check it against the poor file setup. So this is like a database behind Viswap, the poor file where you have all your signals set up. And so let's go back then. In this one, it, it is only true. So if you see there is an N interstage active, and if any interstage is active, nothing happens because basically it just takes the logic down all the way to the bottom and it ends. So it doesn't even go into checking things here. And that is the case while we are in these interstages. The ones I call here, interstage, interstage, interstage. So when I go from one to two, two to three and so on. And if that's the case, don't even go in. But let's say you are in here and when it happens, that means the interstage is over. So that minimum intergreen time of six seconds currently, or in your case, if you want 20 minimum, you can put it just um, as 26, six plus 20, that's 26. And basically when it is over, then this 20 second, you are here, exactly there. Or in this case here. So the interstage from one to two, 
what number you assume here, so this number, this 26, this is from stage 1 to stage 2, that will start from there, after 21, there, and will end at 47. That will take into account this integrin between these two. That will take into account, oh sorry, it's, it should be 27, so like that. Because I have 6 second integrin. So it starts at 21, it takes into account this 6 second, so that is um, A goes red, so A goes red here at 21. Then it waits 6 seconds, then it's green at 27. Then it still runs for 20 more seconds with that setup. So when these are red, or that is red, and all the others are red, and B or the second signal group is green. And this stops at 46, and at 46, this will start interstage 2 to 3. So you can set up basically the minimum integrin times here you want to consider if you want 20 seconds. <laughs> Just add 20 seconds to the uh, greatest here. If you have multiple uh, signal groups starting and you have different integrins, so let's say you have another, uh, let's say a B2 signal group, and that has a 7 inter, um, integrin time, you have 27. So always take the the biggest one, I guess, um, to maintain that 20, or the way you need to. Um, so when you have the 20 second, it will stop there. And then when you come to Visva, basically that is the moment at 21 and 46 and 72, when these stages will be active. So at 21, it will be stage one active because that is the first time you are not in an interstage, because at uh, 3, 10, even at 20, you are still in an interstage with this setup to this long. And then at 21, you are here, stage 1 active, and then you start checking, do I need to extend it? So there is a headway gap and the T green max green. And basically this max green, what it needs to be, if you want to extend it by 10 seconds, it should be 30. It should be 30. So that is your max intergreen. Oh, there is no undo. So I will need to uh, quit. I'll just put it back, it back as it was. <sighs> so basically, if you want 20 second green time and the 10 extension, the way to do it is increase your uh, interstage length and to add 10 second that you want to extend here uh, to the 20 second you want to have. So you know that for this stage signal group one, you want a minimum of 20 to run. And if you want 10 second as an extension, put it 30. To this one the max green if you have multiple uh, like signal groups like i have here you can have max green one and that will be the first then you can have max green two and that let's say you want it to run for 25 and extend it by 10 so it's going to be 35 and here you put max green two here and you put max green one here and so on and so on and so on so in that case let's say this is uh, the minimum green here you want is 25, like that. Um, let me just push these a little bit. So, and in that case, it will run for 25, then at 52, it will be here. Then the stage 2 will be active. So it will check if there is demand and the max green 2, 35 hasn't elapsed yet, because 35 is basically. Um, is 25, what I already have here, plus a potential 10. So that is the way green extension works. Again, this is just my approach. I think this is like the simplest way in this what to deal with it. Of course, it can be overcomplicated much more, but I think it's it's perfectly fine and working and easy to, to use. You can just set up your minimum green time here in this one. And 
on top of that you add that extension time to the max green figures okay let's stop with the uh, green extension let's do the red truncation so but what is red truncation it is basically that uh, let's say the tram can be called so it can be prioritized so you can um, cut basically the red time for this but what that actually mean what that means is when wherever you are that can be stopped so that phase can stop uh, can be stopped earlier and then the tram can be called but then it you need to think when that call can happen can it happen anytime in this green time or can it happen after the 20 second do you want them to run all all the way through on all and just uh, truncate the red here or the green here you need to think where you want to cut i have a video where it runs through the whole cycle and then it calls if there is the tram if there is a demand for a tram and i have a video where it uh, prioritizes it so whenever the tram comes if there is the minimum tag green has passed here or here if you are already here it can basically cut out this whole thing and call the tram immediately the way that you can achieve is you need to uh, decide first where you want to have that call that truncation can you do you want to truncate like all the other stages off and just cut them off and run the tram or do you want to run them and then call the tram and so on so you need to think that through first i have videos for each <sighs> but basically you just need to put a demand a check um, like here for example so you see this headway is here so what i do if you want to prioritize the tram and you want to cut all the stages or phases off for the tram you put that check before anything here so that is the first check you do if there is an occupancy on the tram di uh, detector if there is then you immediately jump to that tram stage as you can see here so i check for occupancy and immediately jump so you don't even check if there is a demand to extend your vehicle phase so let's say you are here your minimum green time has passed and you can just basically cut all of this off and even cut the extension off here because in this logic you can see if the stage is active so i'm not in an inter uh, stage one so if I'm not in an interstage, so basically my minimum in it, minimum green time is over, <laughs> and you always have that minimum. Once you start the signal, you must run it um, to a very short time to allow. It's like a safety thing. So usually that is around six seconds or seven. Um, so you need to always run it. That's why in the poor file you always include that in your in the interstage length. Or if you don't include it there, you need to uh, check it in the VSWAP, the, the straight after stage active. Uh, so that the minimum green time should always happen once you are in that stage. Or once that signal turns to green, it must run for at least five, six, seven seconds. Um, so when you are there, basically, if you want to cut all stages off, you check it basically for all stages you include that condition stage one two three four my tram stage is stage five or if you only want to cut stage four you don't include it here you only include it here or if you want to just check after the extension you can do it after as well so it basically just you you place it before or after um the conditions um before the, those inter stages so let's say this is for me the check for extension you know i just put it here 
Do I need to keep that open? I don't even check for that because if there is a demand for trim, I just go to the trim regardless what is the demand for an extension or, or for that phase. I hope it made sense. I'm happy to provide more explanation. Just let me know in the comment section what is the question or what did I miss or happy to do any other um, examples. Just let me know what exactly you are looking for and it's easier that way. Thanks a lot.